Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Greg Hanselcheck. I'm a veterinarian in the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab within the College of Veterinary Medicine. And I'm here at uh, Beef Stalker Days at K-State to talk about coccidiosis. And if you're not familiar with what coccidiosis is, that's a, it's a parasite, a protozoa parasite that lives in the intestine of calves because it does have effects on not only the health of the calves, but also on average daily gain, feed conversion, and then coccidiosis is also a, a important immunosuppressive. So calves that have coccidiosis are at a higher risk of, of developing other diseases. We talk about the way coccidia is spread is that it's a fecal oral transmission. So a calf either has to ingest feces from a calf that's passing it in the manure, or they have to ingest uh, the ground that's contaminated, feed or water. Uh, in my experience, water contamination is one of the biggest spreads of this uh, disease among, among calves. Uh, some other important things to know about it is that it's on every operation. Coccidia are on every operation and every calf is going to become infected with this uh, intestinal parasite sooner or later in their life. The good thing is that once they go through the initial episode, they'll develop an immunity to it. So if they're exposed to it later on in life, their immune system will keep it at a level that's not detrimental. So that's very important to know. Uh, other things to know about it is that uh, we routinely, or very seldom ever see it in adult animals. And that's because of that immunity. So we very rarely see it in cows, in cow-calf herds that have coccidiosis, but we can find them. Because once an animal goes through the initial phases of it and their immune system kicks in, a certain percentage of them will be carriers. That's why we can find it on every place at all times. And if we sample enough animals within a herd, we'll find it within the animals. Uh, what it does is once it's ingested, it uh, reproduces in the, in the wall of the intestine of the calf. And then once it gets to another stage, uh, all these coccidia break out of the wall into the, the inside of the, of the large intestine and it's passed in the feces. When they break out of that wall, they cause tremendous damage. And a lot of times, uh, one of the classical signs we'll see in calves with coccidia will be blood in the manure. And that's because there's bleeding in the, in the large intestine when these coccidia organisms break out. What that has to do with average daily gain and feed efficiency is that now we have an, an injured small intestine. So the nutrients that the calf's eating passing through instead of being absorbed into the bloodstream to nourish the calf, that large intestine that's damaged is not absorbing those nutrients. So those nutrients are just passing out into the feces. Uh, it's always for producers, if you, if you think that you have coccidiosis, if it's calves, multiple calves in a pen with diarrhea, uh, some of them are off feed, they might have a little bit of a, a long hair coat, uh, just aren't doing well. That's one idea that maybe you do have coccidiosis, but the way to diagnose this is to just take a, a glove, grab some feces out of the pen, take them to your veterinarian. They have a simple, quick test called a fecal flotation where they can determine whether there's coccidiosis in, in, those, uh, in the manure. If there is, then the best thing to do is just mass treat the entire group. And there's some really good products on the market that you can just put in the feed. They're very palatable and it'll get those calves over the, over the coccidiosis. There's some tremendously good preventative products on the market. Uh, ask your veterinarian what they are, but I strongly recommend that, especially for stockers, that they feed these products at all times to these calves so that they're keeping the, the amount of coxidia in the intestine to a, a, no, a low enough dose that it's not gonna hurt those calves. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine is a leader in food animal research and education. Our researchers are constantly expanding the knowledge of animal health and food safety. Through the Veterinary Health Center and the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab, we provide practical services for animal producers. Home of the Beef Cattle Institute, the college is committed to animal welfare training and research. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine, knowledge and service for the future of animal production.